Hi, I'm Lisa and welcome to my Small Thoughts channel. Why small thoughts? Well, small thoughts can often lead to big thoughts or help us cope with the big thoughts that may come along, and they often do. So, welcome, welcome, welcome to my puzzle room. Welcome new puzzle buddies and a special welcome to older puzzle buddies. Thank you for stopping by. This is my puzzle room, puzzle corner, puzzle room nook, whatever you want to call it. It's a spot in my house. I like to come and have small thoughts and mostly I like to do puzzles. Today I'm going to talk to you about some new summer puzzles I got this week and share with them you but first I'm going to have a little drink and you grab one too. Grab a, a coffee or a tea. I guess it's getting to be summer so we can think of some some summery drinks. I'm just going to have a good old glass of ice water that came straight from the tap. Mm. Ontario tap water. Great. So let's get started. First, I'm going to start with a puzzle that I thought I was going to be doing. This is Cobble Hills Iris Cove Loons. And this was on my list to do next. Um, you can just see why. It's not uh, coming through, I don't think, in the photo as well. But these greens and blues are just, just so rich. The colors of the water come from, go from these like cooler greens and blues and down into the richer warm tones. And they've got, you've got some um, water irises on the, the banks of the shore there of the marsh. And then the cute little loon family, which I love. Of course, the loonies on our Canadian dollar coin. And you've got like a little teeny baby loon there. You can almost hear the call of the loons on the lake. It's one of my most favorite sounds, and that's how I know summer's here. So that's Iris Cove Loons from Cobble Hill, a 500-piece puzzle. For sure, I thought I was going to do this one. That was like on my table, ready to be sorted, and I'll show you the one I was going to do soon. This one came in um, this week. This is a, a summer puzzle, and this is nothing fancy. A springbok puzzle, or oh, I think it's called Signal Point. And this is a lighthouse puzzle, a lighthouse puzzle. I love lighthouses. I'm not sure why. I think because they represent calm and safety in the storm and, and uh, a welcoming warm hearth uh, to go to when you and safe harbor. So this is a cute little springbok puzzle, a 500 piece one. Look at really pretty watercolor. Looking forward to doing that. Springbot's a great company. I do find the quality quite quite high, actually, at a reasonable price. Springbot you can find easily, so that is definitely on my to-do list. Can't wait. Okay, so next, next is the one that I'm really excited about. I found out about this artist from uh, a puzzle buddy who recommended that I might like another puzzle called woodland seasons and i they were right i really wanted to find it and i couldn't find it anywhere it was sold out however i did find this one and i think i like this even more so this is from gibson puzzles from the uk unbelievably fantastic quality my kind of puzzle and it's called wheelbarrows and wellies isn't it adorable from the artist Val Goldfinch. Val has also known for us a series she does of alphabets and watercolors. And she has some other puzzles that are beautiful. Uh, porks and pudding pies and, oh, I can't remember. I'll put it in the link, but her stuff is, uh, within seasons, of course. And that comes in a 2000 and a set of four by 500. I want that four by 500 so bad. So if anybody sees it, please let me know I want that. Okay, so wheelbarrows and wellies. If you don't know what wellies are, they're kind of a, a, a UK term for galoshes or rubber boots. So look at how gorgeous this is. For sure, this is my next one. This is a thousand pieces. Now, I don't normally do a thousand pieces because it's a huge commitment and I don't like commitment, but I will do this one because it combines so many of my favorite things. Beautiful watercolors. Look at the stunning, stunning artistry in that. It's got gardening, another favorite. So look, we've got some really cute vignettes here. We've got uh, lawn maintenance here, showing you different stages of ways to do a lawn. Some uh, some little cuttings and, and root cuttings and little different gardening scenes. Look how adorable, oh my gosh. I'm gonna absolutely have to do a review on this when I do it. Um, be sure if this is going on my puzzle table probably this weekend. I'm looking forward to sorting it. 
just thrilled with that and um, looking forward to some more Val Goldfinch. Um, so let's see what I've got next. It's not a cobble hill, I'll tell you that. <laughs> so this one, you'll see why in a second, why I thought it might be a summer puzzle. This is uh, from Ebu. Ebu out of New York State, uh, run by, I believe, a mother and daughter, which I think is lovely. And this is called Otters. Now, Ebu is known for their beautiful, colorful uh, illustrations. And this is this is indeed a beautiful, colorful illustration. You can see the playful otters, the little families, and again, the colors, beautiful. The primary colors up here, and then coming down into some warmer tones, and then we've got coral and seashells and otters swimming and just going about their little otter life. So very much looking forward to this Ibu one. Um, I think I'm going to take do this on a uh, rainy weekend because that would definitely take me a bit of time. So Ibu, what it normally does ones that I love that are uh, round, and this one's a square one. So I, I no poster, but good quality, a nice solid brand. Um, and what was I going to have next? Oh, okay. Coming up is another lighthouse one. It's a Cobble Hill. It's called By the Bay. So this is called, yeah, Cobble Hill By the Bay. So another beautiful summer puzzle. Cobble Hill is probably my favorite, if not my top three. I have, I don't really have, I can't really say there's a favorite or a best puzzle brand because honestly, the best puzzle is the puzzle you're doing. So, no such thing as a bad puzzle. The only kind of bad puzzle is a puzzle with a missing piece, in my opinion. So we've got Lighthouse, of course, super, super happy about that. A little boat scene in a nice cove in a bay, beautiful manor, cottage. Oh boy, I could just imagine waking up there and seeing that view every day. The hanging, I almost think it's cypress, but it could be willow and then beautiful black-eyed Susan, some butterflies, some seagulls, delphinium, uh, all kinds of cute little things to look at while you're doing this summer scene puzzle. I wonder, um, am I the only one crazy about Cobble Hill? Because I love this. And while I'm thinking about it, if you have any puzzle recommendations, like my other puzzle did, buddy did with the wheels and barrows, then please let me know. I'm uh, happy to hear about new puzzles and, and uh, ideas from people that, uh, that watch the channel. And oh, hang on, just one second. Oh, hello. <laughs> I'm just in the middle of doing a, a puzzle video for my puzzle buddies. Are you feeling shy today? Well, that's okay. So, what's up? Oh, you have a puzzle suggestion. Okay. Well, I'd love to hear your puzzle suggestion. Of course. Go get it. Do you have, can you tell me? No? Do you want to show me? Okay, well, just go grab it. We'll wait here. Oh, this should be interesting. I wonder what he'll come up with. He normally doesn't really notice my puzzles or say anything in the puzzles, but let's just see what uh, Copernicus the cat is going to come up with. Oh, okay, so you're really stumbling there. What a noise happening. Oh, oh, I see a puzzle. Did you want some help, Copernicus? No, you got that? Okay, all right. Oh boy, this is uh, quite the puzzle here, sir. Okay. Oh boy. Okay. It's so almost got it. Okay. Okay, coming, coming soon. Let's win the sap. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, of course. Of course. You want me to do a yarn puzzle. <laughs> no? You don't want me to do a yarn puzzle? You want me to do a basket puzzle? Oh, you want me to do a cat puzzle, don't you? Is that your favorite kind of puzzle? <laughs> well, I like that idea, and thank you for the suggestion, Copernicus. I really think that that's a thought. We'll put a pin in that and come back to this later, okay? So thank you for popping by. Thank you for popping by Small Thoughts. Okay, you're going to get going? Maybe you got to go, is there a mouse or something to catch? Or, I don't know, some kitty litter to scratch around in. Okay, well, bye-bye. I'm just going to go back to the 
to our video. Let's go back to the summer video and uh, we'll think about Copernicus suggestion for a cat video. But if you have a suggestion for a video, I would love to hear it. You're welcome to put a comment in the comment section of the channel. I always like to read them and I would love to hear your suggestion. Or you can email me at lisa at smallthoughts.ca and you can also go to my website smallthoughts.ca. There's a contact form there. I'm happy to uh, to hear from you and hear what my puzzle buddies have to say. So my next puzzle is before we got interrupted is another summer puzzle and I thought this might be one I would do too but I put it off best intention so this is another shocker of all shockers Cobble Hill and this beautiful summer tropical scene is called Hummingbird Magic and Hummering the, the magic series from Cobble Hill is kind of an interesting one they have like a series of collage I know I have one called Winterbird Magic and rooster magic so i think it might be worth doing a series on the magic series from cobble hill but you can see the beautiful collages there look at of the what do we got here philanopsis orchids oncidium orchids some cymbidium orchids right there this looks like a pincushion protea oh no of course the hummingbirds have there's something birds here and then oh, halico some haliconies, some very tropical flowers here, very summery and beautiful, and uh, lots of hummingbirds. And this seems to be the only way that I can see a hummingbird. I put my hummingbird uh, feeders out again this year, and so far nothing. So if we have any hummingbird feeder uh, people who are successful, please pass along tips. I would like to know what you're doing. So looking forward to doing this one. And I want to see what do I got left. Oh, I'm down to my last one. I wasn't sure if I was going to show this one. I actually uh, trimmed down some of my puzzles because I had so many. And I didn't want the puzzle to, uh, puzzle video to be too long. So this one I thought I'd show. And the reason I love this puzzle, I've actually done this one. So the other ones I haven't done and I and can't wait to do them. But I have this, this one. And I thought this was just an adorable cute summer puzzle but why I loved it is I thought it was a great value and I wanted to show people what you can do and why sometimes you don't have to spend $20 on a puzzle so this is a puzzle from KI Puzzles so look at that nice sturdy box and the artist is Bill Bell he does a, a lot of different uh, puzzle illustrations I love this design look at look how cute that is so that's a little a little person in the tree looking down on their sort of storybook hobbity world with their free wackrisit. Look at Golden Retriever. It's always going to be a Golden Retriever. And then we've got some little dreamy dreams of castles and pirates and things like that looking over and some oh, birdhouses there. So this, I love this puzzle. It's a 300 piece puzzle, which is just like a little puzzle snack, really. The puzzles are enormous. Uh, pieces are kind of enormous, but this is a great puzzle to do in, after, in an afternoon um, with one of your kids or uh, someone who needs to have the bigger pieces. This is the bigger pieces like that. Um, and sometimes I need that on a rainy day like today. Sometimes my joints aren't as nimble as they used to be. So why I love this puzzle, first of all, the packaging, the quality is great. The puzzles are, are, are really decent thickness and it comes with a poster. So I just couldn't be more thrilled. And why? Why was I so thrilled about this puzzle? Because I paid retail at the dollar store $4 for this puzzle. I was so thrilled. So kudos to you, KI Puzzles. I love that you're doing it and making puzzles affordable for everyone. Um, I think puzzles can be great for anyone and anyone can get anything out of a puzzle. Uh, and so the gift of the puzzle is just like the best, 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 best. So as we wrap up, I want to say once again, thank you for coming by my Small Thoughts channel. Um, I'm Lisa and I'm wishing you lots and lots of Small Thoughts. Bye-bye for now.